Hi, my name's Craig Dewar, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of a, of a presentation I did at the Tableau User Group Forum uh, the other night here in Sydney. And the presentation was on using Tableau shapes as trending indicators. So we're going to use the sample Superstore data, and it's good to see the uh, Superstore branching out internationally. And we're looking to see what our sales over the last couple of years uh, are doing. So year on year, 2013 versus 2012. So let's just keep those two years. And we'll just sort descending. And we can start to see some, some numbers. But uh, it's not very visual, is it? So let's turn that into some horizontal bars and let's turn on some some mark labels here so we get an idea on the ups and downs on sales so we're starting to see some some differences some big growth here in Guangdong and so some some stuff uh, France is looking it's sad but look let's uh, use tableaus table calculations to see what we can do in terms of saying what percentage difference the sales are in those locations. So we're gonna use percentage difference table calculation and, and Tableau assumes that we wanna um, compare down the page, but we don't really wanna do that. We wanna compare uh, across and we're gonna compute using the order date. So now we start to see some percentage differences and what's going on here? We're not seeing much in the way of bars and the reason for that is there's some quite big outliers there. So a 30,000% increase for this location. So bars aren't really going to cut it for us here unless we fix the scale and we really don't want to go there. So let's see what other options we have. <clears throat> so I'm going to now show you how to turn that into a shape. So let's create a copy of that table calculation. And what we're going to do now is go and uh, edit the table calculation. Although it would be nice if we had a another quick table calculation here, uh, which I'll refer you to at the end if you want to uh, vote it up as an idea. But let's edit this one for now. And we're going to customize it. And we're going to call this one um, difference in sales to uh, last year. Keep it nice and simple. Now, table calculations sometimes look a bit hairy and scary for a lot of folks, but essentially what this table calculation that I've stolen uh, from the percentage difference is, is uh, this year's sales minus last year's sales uh, as a percentage of last year's sales. So let's just borrow a few of the chunks of this one to set up a, an if statement. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to say if this year's sales minus last year's sales is greater than zero, then that's more sales. And just to keep the demonstration simple, we're just going to say if it's not more, then it's going to be less. Of course, we want to deal with same conditions and nulls and so on, but we'll uh, ignore those for just for uh, the sake of brevity. So what Tableau does now, you notice, is that it... Um, my measure turns into a dimension because it's a piece of text. That makes sense. So there's my less and there's my more. So these particular offices have less sales and these ones have more. It's not exactly what we're after. We're, we're looking to turn this into a shape. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need something to hang our shapes off. We need a measure to hang our shapes off. So this is a trick I've um, been doing for a while. I'm going to go and create it. Uh, a scaffolding measure and it's calculated field and I'm just going to call it uh, zero and the, the formula is zero so that's just just an empty container so now that I've got the zero measure I can drag that on as an additional measure and now I've got a spot over here with a whole bunch of zeros in it now I want to turn that into a shape. So let's click once on that measure and 
will change the uh, mark type to a shape. Default shape is going to be a circle. But we're not looking for a circle. We want to use this as our shape. So let's drag that down into the shapes mark card. And you can start to see we're getting now some less and more shapes. Okay, so we're starting to get there. So let's change those shapes to something a bit more suitable. So Tableau has a whole bunch of shapes, uh, including arrows. Um, I prefer to actually use the filled shapes of up and down arrows. So less is going to be down triangle and more is going to be an up triangle. Let's see what that looks like. Starting to get there. How about we give the size a bit of a boost? So what we're going to need now is, let's just get rid of those zeros. Let's replace them with these percentages. So I'm going to grab this um, percentage and put it in as text on my zero measure. And there you go, we're starting to see some percentages. And why don't we use that same percentage for our color range? Okay, so everything's gray. That's not a very nice color range. Reason being, we've got such a variability in our percentages. We really need to to edit our colors and uh, advance that to be a range between, um, say, negative 50% is is bad, and say uh, positive 50% is good. And let's follow best practice and go something like orange and blue. Uh, and we'll see what that looks like. Aha, uh -huh, starting to look a bit nicer. Everything else is still a bit grey. Why don't we just give uh, our other bars something sort of colour? Maybe some purple. Okay, now what we're going to do is have a look at the 2012 indicators here. There's a whole bunch of empty ones, and they're, they're null. Uh, values because 2012 doesn't have a prior year to compare it to. So what are we going to do about that? Well, here's another little trick I've learned but with the aid of the community forum. What we're going to do is we're just going to filter our data set to remove non-null values. And what that'll effectively do is make 2012 disappear completely. So what we're left with is 2013 sales data and a percentage difference to prior year. So let's tidy that up. Uh, we might uh, edit that axis and we'll you know, get rid of that zero word and replace it with something a bit more suitable. So this is going to be percentage difference uh, 2000 to 2012 sales. We'll just hardwire it to that for now. And we might rename the sheet to say 2013 sales. performance maybe. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of a few of these other things that we no longer need. We know that they're states. And you notice there's a little dotted line down here. That's a zero line. So how about we um, format that away? And you see this little lines tab here is where, where the zero line piece is hiding. So change, change that to a none. And why don't we, while we're here, we depixelate, get rid of some of those other lines, rows and column dividers, make it nice and clean and crisp. So the other thing to note is there's quite a big space here between um, our bars and our triangles. Let's try and get that a bit closer. So here's a little trick I'll show you in terms of hardwiring that axis. And let's get rid of our tick mark while we're there. And what I'm going to do is fix that to be skewed to the left. So we're going to go negative one is to the left and the right hand range is let's make that say five. And you can see our triangles come over a bit more to the left, giving us a bit of white space here. So what are we going to do with that white space? Let's Let's turn this into a dashboard and we're going to drag our sheet on there. 
And with Tableau 8, we've got some nice floating legends. So let's float those both up. And you can see that it makes use of our white space. And voila, we've now got a sales comparison of all of our offices for financial year 13 and how they compare to previous years, previous year. So that's, that's a good use of uh, indicators and shapes. Um, let's have a look and see what that might look like on a map. So let's duplicate our sheet. And this is where we really start to see the, the, the power of Tableau in action. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our zero measure. We don't need anything to hang our shapes off. Now we're going to have a map. So before we do that, we just want to keep these guys. So let's just drag them up onto our columns shelf there for the time being. Now we can get rid of our zero. So now we should have enough in play to be able to turn it into a map. Yes, we can. Tableau will make certain assumptions on what I want to do. And um, let's see if we can fix this up. So we want to make a um, difference in sales to be our shape. So let's turn the shapes on first. Make that a shape. Still not quite there. Let us swap the shape and the color around. So let's move color to detail for now. And we'll move shape to color. And we'll move this one back to what was it? Size, size to color. Ah, that's what I wanted. Okay, so now we have the big triangles are large sales. The down and up indicate whether they're going up or down prior years along with the colors. So with the use of our um, legends, we can actually uh, create another dashboard now and get something looking a bit nice. Now let's float these guys like we did last time. And just put them somewhere. So we go. And if we turn on our highlight, we can now say, show me those areas that are less and show me those areas that are more. So there we have it, a demonstration of using uh, shape indicators to compare year-on-year -year sales performance. And if you want to uh, help me out by going to the Tableau Ideas community forum, and uh, if you are linking in from my blog, uh, there's a, a link there on, on creating a quick table calculation to do that a little bit simpler. So appreciate your vote. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.